Hi, uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. So in this video, I want to answer to some of uh, my viewers' uh, requests. And he asked me to do a video about uh, the scanner functionality of um, the Portapack extension of the HackRF uh, with uh, the new uh, MyM firmware. So, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen uh, my previous episode, uh, episode 39, I talk about, uh, in that video, I talk about the new firmware, Mayhem, uh, for the Portapack. It has uh, come out uh, very recently and it's under active development. And in the video, I also show you how to quickly install it. So just uh, go there if you, if you want to install it uh, very quickly. And also by Googling uh, uh, Havoc uh, Portapack Mayhem, you will find this page uh, and this contains uh, some uh, wiki informations about uh, about this project. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to talk about uh, the scanner functionality and also about the calls uh, functionalities uh, that are available on this uh, firmware. And to do the experiments, I'm going to use this uh, Baofeng radio to transmit uh, signals. So as you can see, uh, this Baofeng radio is at the moment uh, connected uh, through the antenna. And between the uh, radio and the antenna, I have an attenuator. This is a 50 watt attenuator. 30 dB and also another attenuator here, also 30 dB. So there is a total of 60 dB of attenuation. And uh, the idea is that uh, this is going to reduce by 1 million times uh, the power radiated by the, by, the, um, by the radio. And so we are not going to overload the antenna of the HACRF, okay? So this is both as a measure of precaution and uh, to not damage the HACRF and also to simulate uh, a signal that is a bit more distant than just, uh, you know, 20 centimeters. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start uh, with uh, uh, discussing the, the scanner application first. Uh, so let me see if I can zoom in on, enough. Um, okay, mm, let me see, should be visible, it's not yet ideal let me see okay maybe maybe now is better yes now it should be kind of visible at the moment as you can see the porta pack is running out of a battery and i've connected it uh, to a small speaker here so we can hear um, what we transmit with the baofeng okay so let's start uh, the, the scanner application yeah by the way as you can see here we are running uh, mayhem version 1.03 which is the latest version so let's go to the scanner app and so the scanner application is uh, basically very simple. It is scanning uh, through a number of uh, frequencies. At the moment, as, as you can see, I have uh, 50 uh, frequencies uh, uh, set. By the way, uh, let, me, let me show you. If you go um, to the wiki page, uh, wiki page of the Mayhem uh, firmware and go uh, here, scanner and features, you find this page. And this tells you where the file uh, with the frequencies uh, to scan is located in the SD card uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, that you insert on the porta pack. And so, in uh, in my case, uh, this uh, this file is just uh, a sequence of frequencies with this uh, format F equal frequencies and then new line. And I have 50 of them uh, registered here. Okay. So at the moment, uh, the the scanner is looping through these uh, um, frequencies until it finds uh, some signal that is strong enough. Okay, so that's basically have some transmission. I can set the level of what I mean by strong enough to, by modifying this squelch value. Uh, it's going to be a number between uh, 0 and 99. Okay, so um, as you can see, if I reduce it uh, a little bit, uh, now I basically have, um, uh, you know, what uh, was before was found as a, um, a channel with some signal, now is considered not carrying any signal, okay, or not sufficiently strong. So now uh, the scanner is scanning, and it would scan uh, until it finds something sufficiently strong. So here it looks like squelch, the lower it is, uh, uh, the higher the power he wants uh, in order to, to stop there, okay? So again, if I uh, increase above, uh, yeah, at the level of 26, uh, it locks uh, this uh, frequency, uh, 119 megahertz. There is some signal there, perhaps. 
but if I decrease it just a little bit, uh, it will start, uh, let's say, yeah, scanning, okay? So let me put at 15 just. Uh, okay, so at the moment, as you can see, it's not finding anything. I'm going now to transmit uh, using the Baofeng, and I'm going to transmit first on one of the frequencies registered at the moment in the SD card of uh, the Porta Pack in the file uh, that I showed you. And uh, so let me do this transmission. It's there. Here it says uh, 4388, so 438 uh, MHz and uh, 800 kilohertz. And as you can see here, it's exactly the, the frequency where I was transmitting. So yeah, it, uh, it works uh, perfectly well. And of course, when it locks, uh, I can also hear what's going on. So if I touch uh, some buttons, you can hear, you know, the sounds. So perfect. And when I release uh, the button, uh, it starts to scan again. So the functionality is very simple. And of course, you can regulate here the volume of the speaker. And, and you can also regulate uh, the uh, amplification uh, settings of the HackRF, so LNA, VGA, and DAMP. And that's it, basically. That's uh, the scanner functionality. Now, uh, if I try to transmit on another frequency, I'm going now to try to transmit uh, on uh, this frequency here, 145.090 megahertz. This frequency, by the way, um, let me show you, um, it's not, uh, um, yeah, it's not in the list of frequencies that I have here, okay? They order by increasing uh, value of frequency, so it's not there. So let's see what happens. I'm now, uh, so let me close this file. I'm now going to transmit. And as you can see, uh, this is not stopping, okay? Because, uh, yeah, the frequency where I'm transmitting is not one of the frequencies being scanned. Okay. And uh, so we can, uh, this is uh, the end for this scanner application. And uh, we now reach the point of this call application. The idea is that if you don't know the frequency, maybe you're uh, trying to find uh, some communications, but you don't know at which uh, frequencies uh, they are transmitting, right? So that's the point of this call uh, uh, application. You basically set uh, these two values. At the moment, this is set to 144 MHz.31, and that's the starting frequency where you want to start uh, searching. And the other is set at the moment at 146.31. And, um, and so, yeah, now the, the, um, the, this application is scanning through this wall spectrum. So this is basically one, uh, 2 megahertz. And trying to find um, uh, a signal that uh, meets this uh, trigger value. At the moment, this is set to uh, 90 out of uh, 255. Okay, when it finds something uh, that value, it will report uh, that something happened. So let me reduce this value. Maybe we find something sent actually by somebody. Mm. Let's wait a second. Maybe we are lucky and we will receive something. Um, well, probably nothing is going on around me. Anyway, let's uh, increase it again to uh, 90. And I'm going to try to transmit with my Baofeng. So let's see what happens. I'm going to transmit now. And as you can see, it uh, records this transmission. It uh, even says that it lasted 20 seconds. And uh, uh, sorry, that it happened at uh, this time, uh, 8 uh, uh, 20. So at the moment, the time of my porta pack here is not uh, configured correctly. But anyway, but the duration of this transmission was uh, 6.8 seconds. Um, it also tells you the frequency 145.075. And if we look at here, we look that uh, we see that uh, it's not completely correct. Okay, so there is a 15 kilohertz uh, uh, difference. But that's fine. So this application is not supposed to be a uh, super precise. Uh, the idea is just to tell you more or less where to look uh, to to find um, to find a signal. So yeah, that's uh, 
the, the point of this application and uh, if I change the frequency, let's say I'm going now to transmit on 144.96 for example. Uh, let me transmit now and um, as you can see here it will record all uh, the transmission and I can scroll up and down to see what happened. So this can be basically function as a logger. So you leave it uh, and uh, it will log all the transmissions that uh, are above this uh, 90 out of 25 uh, power level. And that's it basically, that's uh, the functionality of this, uh, of this application. Uh, personally I also like uh, to simply use uh, this audio app in the, receive, uh, the receiver set of applications. Okay, so if I go to this audio application, uh, at the moment it is uh, set to receive in AM, okay, but I can change on the upper left part there uh, to receive also in Arrow FM, which is what uh, this walkie talkie is like the Baofeng uh, transmitter or wide FM. In this case, I have a very wide, uh, as you can see, more than 200 uh, kilohertz uh, uh, waterfall. But it's very interesting that you actually can go to spectrum here, set spec on the top uh, left there. And then you have uh, more than 10 megahertz of uh, waterfall display. And that's pretty cool because if uh, at the moment that the waterfall is centered at 141.8850 megahertz, and uh, so suppose I'm searching for signals, let me now transmit with the Baofeng. And uh, you will see, I don't know if you can see it uh, uh, from the video, but it's clearly visible by, by me at the moment that there is, in, there is a signal there. So I can just basically with the cursor, cursor search uh, which frequency that is uh, and, um, and identify it. And then I can uh, go listen with it with uh, the, appropriate, uh, uh, the appropriate mode. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it uh, for, uh, for this video. I hope it was useful and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.